well, compositing the final stage, the final frontier. Well, I just might seem a little edgy right now because I actually did record this whole part just finished five minutes ago, but I realized I didn't record any audio. So I recorded an hour with a worth of a tutorial uselessly. But it ain't no thing. I I can deal with it. So let's just do it again. Anyway, we need to import our footage. So let's um this is our original comp where we have our previous. So let's just create another folder for render01. Right, uh, sorry, uh, oh, one like this, and 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 let's add render o1 cam o1 and put this in here into the render o1 and duplicate it. And it actually automatically renames the cameras, which is nice. So, um, you know what? Let's put some, eh, let's put some. Uh, what is in that? Uh, call it the same as before, except we say. Uh, what do we say? Passes. Whatever. Copy this. Put it here. Just so we're nice and clean and don't have to deal with any mess. The tidier it is, the less distraction and the more you can focus on what you're actually doing which is trying to make your animation not look terrible. So we go into import, import multiple files and we can go into our render, render01 and we can import our beautifully, beautifully sorted passes. So beauty pass, caustics, depth, illumination, object, Reflection, refraction, and shadow. So let's just take this, put it here. Okay, and now the second one import multiple files. And let's run through this. So beauty pass, depth pass, illumination, object, reflection, refraction, and shadow. Put that in here, import multiple files, and the third one, and beauty and caustics, depth, uh, what is this, illumination, it doesn't really matter, object, reflection, refraction, and shadow, and put them in their folder, and the last one, import multiple files. Beauty pass, depth, uh, sorry, caustic step, illumination, object, reflection, refraction, and shadow. And that's it. Let's just throw it in here. And maybe let's take the beauty pass and put it in the parent folder just so it's more easy, easily ac um, accessible. You know, it, it's the main one of them, so it doesn't really need to be like, oh, so it's okay, that's that, that's it. Let's close these down and start working on the first shot. Now, we need to make this shot longer, of course. Um, we need to freeze the first frame so it lasts for a little while before the glass explodes. So. You go into composition settings and add some time. Let's let's make this like a second long composition. Okay, and we move this to the back and we do a time remap. We just extend the first frame like this. Really simple. Now, what we can do is try to do some compositing. Um, you know, try to combine the multipasses a little bit, maybe that'll help. So let's just try maybe the shadow. Let's try to put the shadow on top and put it on multiply. And now play with the transparency. Actually, I like how what it does to the ground. 
I think that is nice. Maybe like 25, let's see. Yeah, I do like that. So, of course it screws our glass, but we can fix that by uh, finding, the, finding the refraction, putting that on top, and let's try add. And we need to choose what works better, if it's add or screen. Yeah, I guess it's probably add. Let's use add and find the sweet spot somewhere. I think this is it. And let's also add the reflection on top of that. Let's put that on add. And let's find the sweet spot again. And let us compare to the original. Actually, I think that does look better. That definitely looks looks better. Oh, let's see if we can improve something else. Let's let's play with the caustics, maybe. Why not? Um. So like this. Just um, put them on add, maybe. Oh yeah, and if we want, we can just make them stronger a little bit. I guess they're okay. Let's just increase just a little bit. Ah no, let's let's throw that away. We don't need that. I think this is all we need. We just need to retime these other passes as well. Um, so let's do that. So yeah, we basically have a lot of multi passes that we don't need, we won't use. But in the end, it's better if you just have them. You can always throw them away, but if if you don't render them and you then you realize you do need them, you need to do the whole render again, which sucks. So it's better just to do all you all you think you can possibly use. If you don't use it, it doesn't matter, but it's better than not having them in the end. So anyway, I probably want to start with some lens flare. So let's add a black solid, call this flare one, just a black solid and a ramp which creates a gradient um, make this black and make this like um, light blue less less brutal blue like this and put it on screen and decrease the opacity a lot let's just find our sweet spot again Yeah, I think I think twenty five percent is about right. Looks about right. Yeah. Okay. Also, um, let me just play maybe with the reflection a little bit more. Um, let's decrease the refraction and compensate with the reflection. Because, uh, yeah, that works actually better. It is an improvement, I hope. Huh. Let's increase the reflection a little bit more, make it like 50. Yeah. Let's increase the refraction as well. Whatever, while we're here. Yeah, it does look better anyway, so who cares? Yeah, okay. Now, what do we do now? <clears throat> yeah, the flare, the flare should technically be yellow because the lights are yellow. But, uh, you know, I don't really like what this does. You know, I just don't like the, uh, the, the color. So I'll, I usually like to use blue flares. They're, they mostly look better. So what else? We can maybe add a vignette. So there are two ways we can add a vignette, and I usually like to combine them. Um, there are like a billion ways, but the, these are the two I usually use. So we'll add another black solid, call this vignette one. And let's add a ramp as well. And make it radial. And we want the white to be in the center and the black at the edge. So we will have to flip them. Flip the colors. We want the black to be in the corner, so zero, zero. 
and the y to be in the middle so that's 256 because the frame is 512 pixels high right so we put this on overlay and now again let's find our sweet spot yeah i think we want to be very subtle with this yeah 20 percent that seems about right now let's make the second vignette vignette 2 Let's add that and now let's make an elliptical mask like this almost to the edges let's invert it and feather the feather oh, feather the hell out of it um like this and let's put it on classic color burn i use classic color burn because if you put it on color burn i find that this this looks a bit too too much like like a computer graphics thing the the classic color burn looks much more organic i think we only need to tone it down and let's actually use very little of this let's let's find it let's where is it yeah maybe a little bit more maybe like 15 yeah okay 